All right, guys. Uh, L.J. McRae. L.J. McRae from Gainesville, or not from Gainesville, going to Gainesville. L.J. McRae from Daytona Beach, Florida, Mainland High School, right in um, Central Florida, I guess you could say, is Daytona Beach. L.J. McRae is a guy who really came on late in this recruiting process. L.J. McRae is an absolute guy. I mean, right here, they even put him here. You could line him. If you play like a um, if you play a 3-4 defense, you could totally line him up. I guess right here, he's lined up in maybe like a 5. I think he's lined up in a 5 technique outside of the tackle there. Um, and, and, and here you're going to see just such twitchiness from a six, six guy. And this is why he really has upside. Yes, he plays high, but you know, he's a guy that is considered to be somebody that is just hitting the, um, is just hitting his potential plays on both sides of the ball. This is a guy who at six, six has great range, just twitchiness, tremendous athletic ability, fit, finishing ability, and a guy who could be an absolute monster on a Florida defense that needs guys. Boy, do I like this. I like the shimmy right there, little power step and finish. I like that square towards the line of scrimmage. I like how he reads this, okay? And, and, and this is a guy who's so versatile. Again, you could play him on the edge. So, again, if a quarterback, you know, is going to pull or you do the, uh, you know, the uh, kind of a run, a run pass option or something with the quarterback and he has the option to pull if you face a mobile quarterback and the quarterback can either hand or pull um, and, and you go unblocked and you're, and, and you're reading here. This is exactly the type of technique that you're going to need to have here to be really disciplined. And then his closing ability, the way he shoots and finishes, those instincts, I believe, are going to continue to improve. All right. So at six foot six, I mean, the ability that he has to shed, the ability of his of his length. I mean, certainly at six six, that is huge for a defensive kind of tackle, but he can also play on the edge. So very, very versatile, interesting football player is a 6'6", L.J. McRae. All right, so so it's up to Austin Armstrong, and I have complete faith in Austin. I've been following Austin Armstrong's career from Southern Miss, and then he was also at, you know, with Ron Roberts, I believe, in Louisiana as well. Like, like Austin Armstrong, I'm really excited to see what Florida does, and they've gotten just enough offense out of Graham Mertz to make this season worthwhile. But getting L.J. McRae continuing to be a top three recruiting class, I mean, look at L.J. McRae even playing some even playing some tight end there, even, even catching the football out of the backfield. I mean, this guy is a total, total baller at six foot six, okay? And that is why that is why he's a five star recruit. He has one of the highest upsides as a defensive lineman in this class. I think he's gonna be really, really good. I mean, early on you're playing SEC, you know, guards, you're gonna be playing SEC tackles. He'll be someone that maybe needs like half a year to develop. Um, but then I believe that by sophomore year, and, and I'm telling you that that as an upperclassman, he could be so, so dynamic, but needs to be utilized and put in position to succeed. He has cutting ability at six foot six. He has very nimble feet, and that's that's what you look for. He's going to have to win, and he's been winning at at a at a nice high clip lately. Uh, had a great great senior year, I believe, has already up to eight sacks for senior year. Here you're playing him in like a three technique, finishes the play. So yeah, you can play him inside three technique. He'll be quicker than the guards. And they'll show that nastiness and they'll finish. So overall, how can you not get excited about LJ McCray? How can you not get excited about just just I mean, look at the reach. Look at the look at the width. Look at the look at the size. Look at the I mean, LJ McCray absolutely has the wingspan to just be a complete wrecking ball on this defensive line. How could you not get excited? A great recruit. You beat Florida State. You beat Miami. You beat all your in-state guys for them. Even Georgia and and um, Georgia and Auburn. Everybody's after L.J. McRae, and uh, and you end up winning. So that's what it said. It said that he was a little like more raw a couple of years ago, but still filling into a six six frame. 
And um, boy, oh boy, uh, I, I think that this guy could definitely be a player. And Austin Armstrong, I believe, is going to put him in really good positions to succeed. So again, like this is great for Florida. Um, their win over South Carolina was huge. And, and this recruiting that Billy Napier is doing um, is, uh, is certainly uh, leading to some more trust among Gator fans.